and you don't have a setter. We had that situation. So what we did, who's the setter on this court? Get off the court. Who's the setter on that court? Get out of here. Give me a, what position are you, hot dog? What are you? What, what position do you play? Beautiful, go back to right back. What position do you play? Sweet, go out there to right back, go. There we go, we don't need setters. Setters are overrated. Those cats will tell you they're the most important guys in the world anyhow. So we got no setter. Who's my bro out here? You my bro? You be my bro. You good with that? You my bro? All right. We're going to run our game right now. We'll play it. We call it no setter, no problem. Really, it was my way of letting the setter know I don't really care if you're here or not. It's very mature and I have my moments. But basically put, we're going to run. So for one solid week, we scrimmaged every single night without a setter. And by the end, my hitters thought my bro was a better setter anyhow. And so I, I but here's what's going to happen. You're going to kick the ball in play. You're setting every ball. If she handles the first ball, somebody else steps in there. You're doing the same. Let's see what you got. Go. Out of system. Hit it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, hold right there. First thing that I would tell is, who's my bro? You're there? Did you set that ball? It was a really good set, wasn't it? Illegal is all heck, but good set. What do you got to do, sweetie? You're in front of the 10 foot line. Remember, as the bro steps in front of the 10 foot line, eh. Okay, so if you're in front of the 10, you got a bump set. You got it? Go. All right, go, 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 go. Handle it. There you go. Now we're learning like quick cover. You got to cover. Go, go, bowling. Quick, go. Get there, get there, get there, get there. That's beautiful. You could set that one, no, sweetie. Cover. There you go. go. I love the line to seam. Go. God, I love it. Go. There's my setter. <laughs> Get up, get a swing, get a swing. There you go, put it in the corner though. Don't roll that baby back in the middle. And hold right there. Give these guys a big hand, I like that. I liked a lot of what you did. Nice. Try to get those guys comfortable hitting everything away from the, the middle of the court. Get away from the congestion shot. Your kids will hit every single ball if you give them a chance at 15 and 15. Right in the middle of the court, it's a safety shot. The furthest from going out, the furthest from going out on the sides. They'll just chop middle, make them work to the corners, give them incentives, talk to them on a regular basis.